What are serums? And why are they important? How to use them properly? And which ones are the best for our skin type? Welcome back guys, this is Rowena. It's Philippe. Today we're gonna talk all things serums. Serums! So as a continuation of our back-to-back -back skincare series, we've covered cleansing now, we've covered toning, chemical exfoliation, and today we're up to serums and everything that they do for our skin. So this is the fourth step of our skincare series. If you haven't watched the first three, make sure you check it out. It'll be linked down below. And while you're at it, make sure you like and subscribe. Yay! <laughs> Some of the benefits of serums include hydration. It's a concentrated dose of all these natural good ingredients that really help you nourish and smooth out your skin. It helps with minimizing pores, even out blemishes or uneven coloring. Basically anything you're missing after toning, this is what like substitutes dryness or acne or pores, and it just fills in all those things. So let's jump into what serums actually are. So with serums, it's kind of contradictory because they're moisturizing, but they're not moisturizing. They could have oils in them, but they're not facial oils. And sometimes the consistency of the serums are like essence, but mm. they're not essence. So they're kind of like everything but nothing at the <laughs> same time. But it is definitely a really important step in your skincare routine because it delivers active ingredients straight into the dermis layer of your skin. They'll have very specific ingredients for each of these certain skin concerns. So that's what serums do. It's more targeted than toners because toners, as we discussed in in our last video is more broad and it's everyone like a can wear. General, you should tone yeah. to balance the pH level of your skin. So it's worth saying here that serums aren't crucial. Like to cleanse your face properly is crucial. To tone is crucial. It really depends on what you want to concentrate on targeting for your skincare concerns. Yeah, they're typically used to target skincare concerns such as brightening the skin, reducing wrinkles and acne, delivering a firmer and smoother skin texture, reducing the appearance of big pores, and even increasing moisture levels to your skin. So in a nutshell, serums are really important because they're lightweight, they're really fast absorbing, and they sink deep into your skin. So in a nutshell, serums are really great because they're super intense like me. But don't use it as just a moisturizer because it doesn't have enough of those nourishing qualities as your moisturizer does. So the reason why serums and moisturizers are different and why serums don't moisturize as well as actual moisturizers mm -hmm. is because the molecular makeup and combination of serums are a lot smaller, so they sink deeper into your pores. Kind of like toners did. Yeah, and then for moisturizers, they're bigger, so they act more as a barrier to keep keep hydration from leaving your skin. Because throughout the day, your skin does like evaporate, kind of like a pool of water. <laughs> your oils will evaporate. Where's my skin going? <laughs> yeah, and so moisturizers help to lock that down and keep it in there retained. That's the biggest difference, but we'll talk more about moisturizers in our next video because that's the next step. So the proper way to apply serum is obviously to start with a clean, cleansed, and toned face. So after toning, you wanna take whatever serum it is that's for your specific skin skin concern. So for her, it's like dryness, it's brightening. What else do you use it for? Pore minimizing. Pore minimizing for me, it's like acne, pores, and to keep the oils at bay. So each person will have like a different serum. So you want to put like a little pea-sized amount onto your fingertips or your palms and then just like spread it and then just work it in. And you want to start from like the cheek area as well as the forehead because those tend to be drier and they have more pores. So you want to like make sure it sinks in there. And you will realize that serums once again, are never greasy, they're really lightweight, and they're really thin in consistency. Magical. So one way that I like applying serum is I like putting it on the palm of my hand, and I just use my finger to dab and like put it in all the areas it needs mm. to be, and then and use then my spread. fingertips to spread it. Because I know like using your palms, the product gets absorbed into your palms a lot mm. quicker. So your fingers, it's like, you know, serums are pretty expensive. Yeah. So you just want to make sure it just stays on your finger or your face and yeah. not on the other parts of your body. True, and serums are not to be used with a cotton pad. <laughs> <laughs> do not do that, your money is flying away like <laughs> And one more thing for serums, 
it is important to always read the packaging, always read the label. Sometimes you can use it daily, you can use it two times a day. Sometimes you can only use it two to three times a week. So always read the packaging and don't be like me, where I used to put serums like under here. the eye. So let's move on now to the type of ingredients you should look out for in serums for your own skin type. Since serums are little concentrated bottles of magic, they're also concentrated on targeting specific skincare concerns. So first, starting off with acne prone skin. If you have acne prone skin, it's probably a little bit sensitive as well. So you wanna look for serums that have vitamin C, retinol, zinc, and salicylic acid, because vitamin C and retinol increases the collagen production and also brightens the skin and also helps to speed up the process of any of those breakouts that cause any darkening or hyperpigmentation on the skin. And then zinc soothes irritation and regulates oil production. And then there's salicylic acid, which you all probably know about if you have breakout acne prone skin. Also known as BHA or Baja. Baja. <laughs> the chemical exfoliant because it helps to really penetrate deep down into the pores and unclog the oils and the dead skin that's forming these breakouts. So starting off with something a little bit more affordable is the Ordinary Niacinamide 10% and Zinc 1%. So this one's like in a dropper form. If you guys have tried the Ordinary, they're super affordable and it's like a potent like zing into the skin. And Niacinamide is really great for acne prone skin. It's just clear. It hasn't got any fragrance or anything like that added into it. And you just spread that all over and it's just like a no brainer. And then when my skin is feeling even more like irritated and inflamed, I'll go in with this Luminosity Mandelic Maven Serum. And this also has Niacinamide. It's also got Lactic Acid, Mandelic Acid, sodium hyaluronate, and it's also got witch hazel, which is really good at soothing inflammation and also redness. So if you haven't watched our exfoliating acids 101 video, this will be great. Lactic, mandelic, yeah. all those acids, if this means nothing to you. So this is what I use when it's feeling really congested everywhere. And then moving on to the third serum, the Caudalie Vino Pure Natural Salicylic Acid Pore Minimizing Serum. What a mouthful. <laughs> So I actually use this mm. for the pore minimizing part and it, it works. Yeah, because the thing is pores and breakouts go hand in hand. The bigger your pores, the more oily your pores, the more prone to breakouts you are. So with all these serums, especially for acne prone, because the ingredients are a bit heavier because they're designed to like attack that pimple. It's like extra, extra <laughs> intense. Yeah, <laughs> you have to make sure you read the labels on how many times you should be using it a day because I would definitely not use things like this or this every single day because it will cause a lot of drying and you might even start flaking. <laughs> you can switch it up. Like toners, you can switch up serums as well. So going on to dry skin. So if you have dry skin that's in need of some desperate TLC and repair, look for ingredients that have vitamin E, niacinamide, glycolic acid, and hyaluronic acid. Vitamin E is an antioxidant that protects cells from free radical damage, while niacinamide improves skin elasticity and increases hydration levels in the skin. So glycolic acid helps to gently exfoliate the skin and remove all the dead cells that are just floating around. It also helps brighten and lighten. And hyaluronic acid helps your skin retain all the moisture of your skin. I feel like we've been saying mm. this in every single video. Every video. But hyaluronic acid is super good. Our body naturally makes hyaluronic acid. Um, so you're just kind of adding more into it, especially if you have dry skin, which is genetic, so don't blame yourself for dry skin. And oily skin is also genetic. Dry and oily are both inherited. So moral of the story is just to love yourself and to embrace what you have and what your mama gave you. Yeah. The Ordinary, they have a 2% hyaluronic acid with B5 and this is supposed to be very hydrating and suppling. For your skin. Suppling. And the second thing is this Innisfree Green Tea Seed um, Intensive Hydration Serum yeah. and it does exactly that. It's super soothing, super calming. So in this, there is Jeju Green Tea Extract as well well as green tea oil, which the two combine seamlessly helps you balance your skin and really helps your skin retain the moisture. Actually, a lot of you ask like, what do I do for combination skin? What do I do for dry skin? You can use basically anything we suggest, just like kind of know how to tell what your skin is craving for on the day. Like if I have oily skin, I still get dry, which is kind of combo. So then I'll look for something more hydrating. But if I'm breaking out, then I'll look for something more BHA, salicylic acidy. <laughs> so if you guys have like uneven skin texture or you feel like it's really bumpy and things like that, a lot of the time is because you're not exfoliating. Look at this, we have exfoliating serum. Yay. <laughs> 
So yeah, if you have like little bumps, if you have dry skin, if it looks kind of dull because it's like covered by a layer of dead skin, I would definitely recommend the TLC Glycolic Night Serum by Drunk Elephant, but also the Pharmacy Honeymoon Glow. So this one is pretty like intense the first time that I used it. This is once a week to start, only at night, and in the mornings after you use it, make sure you wear sunscreen. If you're kind of stripping the dead skin, you need to protect that new layer of skin. So make sure you protect that with the sunscreen and only use it at night. And then with this one, I also use this when it's feeling like either breaking out or it's uneven texture because it's just good for everything. It's got AHA and BHA, it's a blend of it. She uses this too. Again, both of these products, I also both use. Yeah. If your skin is kind of just normal, meaning it doesn't really break out, it's not really uneven, it's kind of doing okay, maybe you just want to add a hydrating or nourishing serum. So we have three here that we really like. First, once again, Drunk Elephant. This is the B Hydra Intensive Hydration Gel. I love this one because you can mix it with this as well. The good thing about Drunk Elephant, you can just mix all of their things together and yeah. make a Drunk Elephant cocktail. Concoction, yeah. yeah. This is a Korean brand that I really love. It's called Huxley and it's the secret of the Sahara Grab Water. So remember when we were talking about how serums are sometimes confused with essence because they kind of do the same thing. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of like potent ingredients. So this is called Essence Grab Water, but it's like a serum. And it's got cactus extract in there and also aloe, which is really good for inflammation. It's really hydrating. And then same with this mushroom. One. The Volition Snow Mushroom Water Serum. Yeah, you might have seen this one around because they only recently started coming out with a lot of their products. But Snow Mushroom, apparently, it's really good at um, retaining moisture. So when you apply it, it will obviously lock in everything that's in your skin. So if you have dull skin or if your skin's not looking as bing bing as it could, these are some products that we would recommend. So the first thing you can get at Target, it's the Pixi Overnight Glow Serum. It's $24 and it has 10% glycolic acid, which helps gently shed the dead skin cells on your skin. And it also has vitamin A. And there's also soothing and nourishing ingredients like aloe, cucumbers, and also vitamin A, C, and E. So actually vitamin C and vitamin E, if you ever see them together, they work like best friends. They count, they count in. <laughs> They work really well together in like just helping with dullness, hyperpigmentation, nourishing, like basically everything. So the Pixi Glow Tonic is a really affordable option. And a higher end product for something that's really great for dull skin is Sunday Riley Good Jeans. I've been using this for a couple years now. And the main ingredient is lactic acid, which again, gently exfoliates your skin. So I think if your skin concern is dullness or yeah. if you don't think it's bright enough, exfoliation is the name Key. of the game. So if you aren't aren't convinced by now the benefits of serums and how versatile they actually are yeah. despite us just trying to put it in boxes. <laughs> Are you convinced now? <laughs> I feel like with skincare, not everything is in a box. It mm -hmm. all kind of overlaps into each other. So one thing to keep in mind about applying serums is that the more isn't better because they're so highly concentrated, they're so potent, and it's for like very specific skin concerns that you shouldn't mix different ones for different things. I mean, things. you could, but then general rule of thumb is just you don't want to overdo it because mm. you can cause skin irritations, you can break out if you're mixing way too many things at once. Yeah, that aren't designed to be mixed yeah. together. Unless it's like drunk elephant then. So what we've learned so far about the basics of skincare is step number one, to properly wash and cleanse your face. And mm -hmm. the reason why it's so important to properly cleanse or yeah. double cleanse with an oil cleanser and then a regular liquid cleanser. Yeah, water-based cleanser. Water-based cleanser is because you wanna make sure before you apply anything onto your skin, all the nasties, all the day's grime and oils, everything has been properly removed so that you won't don't clog your pores because clogged pores are what leads to the bane of our existence, which is breakout. And then following on is toner, just to rehydrate the skin, reset, and rebalance the pH levels on the skin so that everything that you apply on top, like serums, can sink better into the skin. And in between toners and serums, there's exfoliating, or actually exfoliating could even be serums. Yeah. <laughs> so again, I think with this specific step of exfoliation, don't overdo it. There was a question asking if she should use AHA in cleanser, AHA in toner, AHA in serum, AHA in moisturizer. I think it's a little too much. Yeah. 
Yeah. So generally, if I use an exfoliating serum, I make sure that my cleanser and my toner isn't exfoliating. Something that's very, very hydrating, but very neutral. Because you want to balance it. Otherwise, if you overdo, especially with these chemical exfoliants, you will peel <laughs> and you will be inflamed. You will be in pain. Yeah. And then you'll just be like back to your confusion again. <laughs> but I think with serums, you can see a lot of more immediate effects because yeah. it is sinking into the skin and it is applied at night and sometimes in the morning as well. So it stays on for the longest period, whereas like with cleanser, it's more about getting away the debris. Yeah. So it's not like the It's more are... on and off. And so with that, with serums, make sure while serums are moisturizing, always apply moisturizers afterwards. So very soon, we're going to be coming out with our moisturizers video, so make sure you stay tuned for that because you want to see the entire process of everything you should do. And we'll see you in the moisturizer video. Bye! <laughs>